Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be reviewing and comparing the new Fenty Gloss Bomb and this is the shade Fussy. In this video, I am going to be trying out the shade Fussy on my lips as well as the original Fenty Gloss Bomb and then we're going to be comparing them side by side to see what we think. But before we get started in this video, don't forget to subscribe down below for new videos every single week. Also, I am doing a huge Anastasia Beverly Hills giveaway and the winner will be announced December 16th. So I will be linking the video to that down below so you can click on that video and learn how you can win some Anastasia. And let's get to it. Alrighty then, so this is what the new Fenty Gloss Bomb looks like. It is absolutely beautiful. It definitely seems to have quite a bit of pink undertones, pink tones to it in comparison to the original Gloss Bomb, which is supposed to be a universal shade. This new Gloss Bomb in the shade Fussy definitely has a lot more pink in it. That being said, I feel very excited because I adore pink. If you've seen a couple of my videos, you know that pink is the theme. It's so hard for me to steer away from the pink, which is crazy because I used to be a tomboy and now I'm just like a girly girl that loves pink. But anyways, enough of the talking, let's go ahead and get right to it. So Gloss Bomb and Fussy also has that same Fenty packaging with the same cap, same design, everything. But of course, the shade is just going to be a little bit different. I feel like when I see them side by side, I feel like they have the same amount of shimmers in them. They're both going to be very reflective, but I do feel like Fuzzy is going to be just a tad bit more reflective than the original Gloss Bomb. So now that that's been said, let's go ahead and get to the swatch. What are we waiting for? I'm gonna open mine up, and then of course it has the same ginormous wand. And when we swatch it, it is so pretty. I definitely see a lot of pink initially. So this is what the color looks like on the back of my hand. I see a lot of pink and I feel like I can see a little bit of peachiness coming through. So it's like a really bright coral pink. So this right here is the original Gloss Bomb and when you compare them side by side, Gloss Bomb obviously has quite a bit more coral, more of a nudie undertone to it. While Gloss Bomb and Fuzzy definitely has so much more pink in it and it just seems a little bit more like girly, more like ooh. You know? And I'm actually wearing the Universal Gloss Bomb on my lips right now and I absolutely adore it. I actually like to top off the Universal Gloss Bomb on top of my favorite nude lipstick which is Makeup Forever M101 and that is my favorite absolute go-to nude lip. But today I'm going to be doing a little experiment and I'm going to be trying out the new Fenty Gloss Bomb in Fuzzy on top of a few nudie lipstick shades to see what we think. All right, so now we are up close and personal and the first lipstick that I want to try out with the new Fenty Gloss Bomb in Fuzzy is going to be my Makeup Forever M101. I use this lipstick so much. It's just like the perfect color. So this is what that looks like. I feel like it has the perfect amount of pink, the perfect amount of like nude to it. All in all, a perfect, perfect, perfect nude lipstick. And this is actually my absolute favorite nude. So first things first, I'm going to apply M101 on my lips. So this is what the lipstick looks like on its own. Again, my favorite nude lipstick of all time. And next, I'm going to apply a thin layer of Fenty Gloss Bomb in Fuzzy on top of M101 to see how the combination plays out. I am curious to see how Fuzzy is going to change the color of my favorite nude lipstick. So let's give it a go. Okay, so immediately I love it so much. I really love this combination. I feel like Fuzzy goes along with the nude lipstick so well and I feel like it almost did give it a little bit more like mauviness, pinkiness. Of course it is a pink lip gloss on top of a nude. Therefore, it brought a little bit more mauviness to this lipstick, but this is what they look like side by side. I feel like without fuzzy, my nude lipstick leans a little more brown, but when I apply fuzzy on top of it, it definitely transforms it into like a mauvey pink, which I absolutely love. I love this. This is like 
my favorite combination. My favorite combination uh, for a nude lipstick used to be Fenty and my M101, but now I have a new favorite combination. It's gonna be fuzzy along with my M101. And just for a reference, this is what my M0101 looks like when I use my Fenty Gloss Balm, the universal shade. And I feel like it helps my nude lipstick lean more towards the brown side, which is really great if I'm like rocking a dark, smoky eye, blown out type of thing, you know? But I feel like for more every day, I still am going to want to pair these two guys together, the fuzzy along with my nude lipstick. The next nude lipstick that I'm going to be trying out with my Fenty glosses is going to be e.l.f. lipstick in the shade Praline. All right, so this is what Praline looks like. It's obviously a beautiful nude color, but let's watch and see how fuzzy changes this nude lipstick. All right, so this is what fuzzy and Praline look like when you pair them together. I really like the combination. I feel like fuzzy turns my nude lipstick almost into like a brown shade. Next, I'll show you what Praline looks like with the Universal Gloss Palm. All right, so this is what Praline looks like with my Fenty Universal Gloss Bomb. And I do have to say, I do feel like I prefer it over pairing it with the new fuzzy lip gloss. And last but not least, I'm going to be pairing my YSL Rouge Pour Couture Lipstick in the shade 70, along with my Fenty Gloss Bombs. All right, so this is what Rouge Pour Couture in number 70 looks like with Gloss Balm in the shade Fuzzy. And I adore this combination. I think it's absolutely beautiful. I think that Fuzzy really complements the YSL lipstick in number 70 just because pink and pink, I don't know. I feel like Fuzzy accentuates the pinkiness and girliness of Rouge Pour Couture in 70. It's really Awesome. And this is what Rouge Pour Couture in 70 looks like with the Universal Gloss Balm and it's really pretty. I feel like it turns number 70 a little bit more brownish, nudie, as opposed to fuzzy, which turned it obviously more pink. But I still feel like I prefer fuzzy with number 70 together. And that does it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and found some value from it, please don't forget to drop me a like. And also don't forget to subscribe for new videos every single week. Like always, I want to thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.